Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ebony Bowler, owner of several companies, very successful. And I'm here to tell you how to do the same, how to be successful, how to find your purpose and how to do it biblically. Yes, I'm talking to the Christian folks. Some of us, we need to advance a lot further than we have been. And so previously on the last videos, we talked about sales and marketing. That's what we're going to talk a little bit more about today. But for the biggest thing I want to talk about is not trying to chase down your family and friends and sell them your business. You're new in business. You probably don't have any customers. You're just starting to discover your purpose if you watch my other videos. But how are you going to be able to monetize? If nobody knows about you, nobody hears you, nobody knows that you have a business or what you do, what do you do? What if you don't have that large support network? I didn't have that when I started out. It took me years and years of building. And it, guess what? It was people that I didn't know that supported me the most or that were willing to even trust and do business with me. But how did I do that? How did I gain their trust? How did I get my first client? What did I do? I don't typically buy leads. I know people buy leads. I'm in the insurance industry, but I've never really had to do much of that. I bought some, but I haven't had to do a lot of that. And now I'm at a place where I've got enough customers where I get referrals all the time. So let's talk a little bit about that. This video is going to be short. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and you like this video. I am going to start doing lives for subscribers only. Those who support me, you're going to get more information than those who do not support. So let's go through this really, really quick. This video is going to be really short. So the first thing is when you start your business, understand who your target market is. Who is it that needs to buy from you? Who is it? For me, it could have been a broad, wide scale because so many people need life insurance. Not everybody's walking around with $50,000 in their pocket to bury someone or $20,000. Not everybody has a million dollars if they pass away before their kids are 15 or 18 and they need to be relied on. They need to go to college. They need somebody to take care of them before, even after 18, they still got kids. I know people with kids, they say they still help them out. So I had to narrow that down and it took me a very long time. So don't do what I do. I'm going to tell you some what not to and what to. It took me a long time to realize who my target market was because it could be anybody that needed insurance. But what I was most good at is seniors. I am an expert at dealing with seniors. I have the patience. I love them. I'm everybody's granddaughter or everybody's daughter. And it's such a blessing. And it is because I have the patience to listen to them. I have a heart that's tender to care about them. And I know a lot about the things that they like, the things that they do, and to help them. But that's not everybody's situation. Everybody is not great with seniors. Everybody doesn't have the same patience. So you have to find your niche. And thank the Lord, with my niche, I focus on Medicare. And with Medicare, it brings me residual income. It means I do something one time and I get paid over and over and over again. But I'm also doing a good service. I'm helping someone. So what you want to do is you want to start Start writing down who your target market is, who are the people that the demographics that you want to reach. It can't be all over the place. I know you're doing business and you're like, I need money. Everybody is, a, is my neck. No, that's not the case. We all have special gifts, whether it's times and patience that we're able to spend with people, whether it's meeting and reaching the heart of a person, whether it's acts of service where we're really good at serving, really great at cooking, really great at cleaning, whatever it is that the purpose that the Lord has given you, which we talked about that in the other videos, knowing your purpose, you want to make sure that you narrow that down. Find your target market of people. Some people call it an avatar in social media. There's all kinds of words, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to harass friends and family. It can be very discouraging for you and for them. Trust me, I know all about it. And most of the time, again, the people who are going to support you the most are going to be people who don't know all of your business, who don't know that much about you, that have ne maybe never even met you. And that's okay. But your service is so good because you practice excellence and you know your craft because you practice it so much, hit, hit from the other videos, that people will chase you down and look for you to do business with you. So that is something that you want to focus on is your target market. Okay, we're going to go on to some other videos about that target market. If you're still not quite sure who that person is or who that avatar is, those people that you want to market to, just think about 
who you're solving the problems of. Is it problems for younger people, older people, middle-aged people? Is it for mothers? Is it for dads? Is it for children? Is it for people who like to eat? Is it for people who need their house plans? Is it for busy people? Start brainstorming. I promise you, if you narrow that thing down, you're going to see your business take off. All right, until the next time, remember to subscribe and like the channel. Target market, target market.